Good grief. Now what's she doing? What? Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. See this gate was here and it was it was attached to this rock and this rock was just flopping all over the place. So we we put a little rock underneath here to hold it up and we got some mortar mix. Just plain old mortar mix. Quick 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 crete mortar mix. And she's she's mixing it up. It's one of the paint buckets. I cleaned it all out. We put a little bit in there. Here's our my my putty knives I use for sheetrock and stuff. And and here's mommy's little knife. She's got her rubber gloves on and she mixed it up. And now she's packing it in there. When that dries, that's gonna hold that in there. Good job, baby. Okay, before you get done, make sure you push in around where the edges are. And I guess we can't get it in that little crack, can we? Mm, can't. Maybe you can push them on the outside. And then this up. little, that little rock, I think we can leave, huh? Yes, don't, don't hit it. I'm just tapping it in, just a hair. Now you can fill up. I'm gonna have to mix you, more. Yeah, you can mix more, pack it. Right in, right in there, along here, make it all look nice and pretty. And put some in this crack here, even in there. Just take your little putty knife and kind of push it in there. That's just for looks right in there. And see, and see how the the old brick was. We gotta try to match. Whenever you're doing something, you wanna try to match existing. So so see see how this is packed out a little bit further, baby? Right here. You wanna maybe on your next Pack go put up. a Put a little bit more in there. You want to try to mimic okay, what they okay. have. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. That wall's gonna look fine. And while she's doing, while she's doing that, she put another layer of resin. Who we the smells in here? She put another layer of resin on here and before she did that she even went to the store she got a little orbital sander Bosch orbital sander it, it tells you you can do it with a block a sanding block and here's a here's a pad you could use that sanding block it's got see it's kind of squishy and there's sandpaper on it uh, she even used my little paddle sander for sheetrock and she tried that first and then she wasn't happy. She wasn't happy so she went down to the store and she got the orbital sander. And that, when she gets all done with this, that's gonna, that's gonna make it look nice and smooth. She's still working on it. And that takes two hours for the next layer of resin uh, to dry on there. And then she'll get her orbital sander out and start sanding some more and then she'll make a determination. Do I need some more resin? And if so, she'll take her resin material here. She'll pour it in this little plastic container. She just bought this plastic paint container at Home Depot. She's got her plastic uh, gloves, throwaway paintbrush, some paper towels. You put a little bit of the resin in here and then you take this stuff. This this. This came with that as a container, and there was a little cap over that, and that was in there. Put a, 10 drops of that to one ounce of that, and then she just mixes that with her paint stick, puts it in there, and away she goes. She was ready to do this, and I said, wait, I gotta put all the craft, the craft paper down. So see, that's why I got all, see all this mess? This mess would have been down on this tile floor. And I've got two layers. I, I put this one craft paper all the way up against there, and then I went from there down. So I've got two layers there because when that soaks in, I didn't want any of that to get down in there. And then I did the base so she didn't spill anything. See all the spills there? I didn't want her to go any lower than where the masking tape is there. Right? And so she'll she'll still she'll still work on that, and then when she gets all done with that, we're gonna end up painting it with that with that glossy uh, bathroom paint that I showed you 
a little while ago. Okay, so while she's doing that, I, I went ahead and I got my shelf, my shelf brackets back up in there, my closet pole, got it all screwed in there properly. And I t when I took all that down, I made sure that I put that somewhere where I had all the screws ready for each um, closet, you know? And that's what I did. I had a plastic container. See this plastic container? I had that, so when I took off all my, my uh, plug plates, and my switch plates and my uh, TV coaxial cable plates, I put them all in there. And did you know that when I got all done, I cleaned off all the cover plates and everything, I had exactly the right amount of screws. And, and these are really short screws. These screws are a little bit longer. These screws are different. So I had to make sure I sorted all that stuff out. When I got ready to install everything, I set everything in its go. And I had just enough screws I, I can't tell you how many painters they they just take stuff and they kind of throw it here and there and when they get all done they're missing a couple cover plates they've got a couple broken cover plates they have some screws that are missing and all that i didn't have anything that was missing let's see can you imagine leaving this and then trying to paint all of your walls uh the underneath of your shelf and everything without getting paint on here it was just it was so much easier just undoing these screws and taking this out and marking it uh, exactly where everything went. And see, this one here was bent down. I don't know if I showed you that. This was all bent down, and, and the one screw that was in there, uh, it, had, it, it had stripped out, ripped out of this uh, shelving. This is just particle board shelving. And um, it was all bent out of whack, and so... Um, I still use this. I rebent this. I pushed this back up. I, I re-drilled a, a new hole over further because the other one was right here and I patched that before. There's no way if I would put that screw in there now it would hold. So I drilled a hole over this way further and then I also drilled another hole here so I got two screws up in there. Rebent all that because that's where all of the weight of your of your uh, closet pull is especially when you get ready to uh, put your clothes in there okay so I've got that all set up ready to go well I was talking there and my I looked down my battery was really super low so I'm not sure if you got this part or not but I've got the brackets up uh, back up all in the closets and that's why I took them all down so I didn't have to paint around all this can you imagine trying to paint around all this stuff in the way that's why I took it all down this was all bent out of whack it was ripped out so I pre-drilled a, a new hole over further than where the old hole was and then I drilled a new hole right through here rebent all this stuff up put it back and it looks good as new in fact it's stronger now than it was when it was initially installed okay because this is a master closet because there's only one shelf here they've got this crammed with all kinds of stuff and if this was my place, I would have ripped this out and put in a double shelf. Boom, up high, one down low, over to about here. And then from here, I would have this, this shelf could have been up a little bit higher. And then you could have had all kinds of your tall, you know, your dresses or your long pants, whatever, house coats, whatever, full length over there. And then have two, two shelves over there. But hey, it is what it is. The new owner, they can, they can mess with it. Okay, so I've got my door glide. That's my door glide for the closet doors after I put the closet doors up. And I've got, I've got all the other doors. See, I've got all the new hinges on. D didn't that look nice? Look at that. And I marked all the doors, put all the, hinge, put all the hinges in, pop the hinge pins down all the way. And these are ready. For me to put the hardware on the door bump the door uh, uh, bumpers my strike plates all that all that kind of good stuff um, and all the doors all of the doors fit the only door i'd still have to put up was this one here mommy was still working in the bathroom so that's the that's the last door i have and then i've got all the closet doors i've got to put i've got to rehang all the closet doors up on these up on these brackets you always hang the back one first before the front one and I've got those marked even front to back and uh, 
all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm I'm still working away. Mommy's outside working on some mortar. There she is. There she is working on that. I told her to keep it, make sure it's off and clean off of the off of the concrete. She'll have to take a wire, she'll have to take a brush. You can clean all that. Yeah. And then we can take a brush to that and some water and clean all that stuff off. And we're just, we're getting close. We're getting close. Still more work to do though. 